Solari Madri. And I am Damalati Amir. We, we are, are from, from the City of Glory Crest team. Here are the news updates as they were published by the dailies on 13th, 13th October. From the Vanguard, U.S. Consulate hosts 100 schoolgirls, hops on access to education. The Guardian, Elsa UNICEF to connect 100,000 children to digital education in Nigeria. Still on The Guardian, policy of secrecy leaves authors with no inkling works are being set for NSW's year 12 exams. And still on The Guardian, 4 out of 5 people in England say progress suffered due to COVID. Still on The Guardian, Newcastle students' death from alcohol and ketamine ruled misadventure. And still on The Guardian, Bounty Girls urged government to introduce reproductive health education in schools. From The Sun, 16 Ghanaian universities storm Nigeria next week to scout for students. And on legit bad news for students as Assam awaits Buhari's decision on one crucial negotiation. From Premium Times, Nigerian officials question UNESCO data on countries out of school children. And on NNN, teachers in Ebony local government area yet to receive August salary. Still on NNN, Center donates educational materials to 40 physically challenged students in Sokoto. And still on NNN, students urge ESSG to domesticate national policy in safety, balance free school. From Tribune, Ibadan Poly Council presents score sheet on achievement. And from Tribune again, Federal government vows to sanction schools for non-compliance with standards curriculum implementation. Still on Tribune, Nigeria at 62, education sector in crisis. Still on Tribune, Redeemers University announced full scholarship for 90 students with the highest CBGA. From Tribune, Oko Poli to partner Corrent on technical assistance. And still on Tribune, Oyo government seeks teachers' cooperation to transform education sector. Still on Tribune, OBMS ranks fifth among 55,004 private schools in Nigeria. And still on Tribune, now National Open University of Nigeria established center in Okeho. Still on Tribune, quality of graduates proves if university is quack or not. Babcock University Vice Chancellor. On BBC, COVID and schools beat to tackle vaping and swearing at teachers. Those were the news from the Thursday 13th October headlines. And that is how far we can go from the seat of glory presidents. I am Princess Olari Waju. And I am the Malati Amiyu. Have a nice day. Have a nice day.